We are live. Middle M. Glenn probably starting his computer up. <laughs> we let's see. <laughs> we're, we're, a little, we're two minutes behind. What's the deal with the lighting in here? B, what's up? What's up? What's up? Glenn's lighting is like, you know, he's like, like a ghost. heaven on this side. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, B? there you go. Sorry, I got to okay, make sure I get this thing set. All right. Had a little technical issue on the sound, but looks like we're good. We go, so we're good. So let see who is here. The man, Mr. Information. Hit that like button. I agree. Panda Rose, El Grunk, Jimmy, Mr. Moore, Mo, Sal, Patrick, uh, Texas Pete, Dapper Fanatic, Sneaker Pickers, Dom, Eddie, Price Assassins, Josh Brown, Nike Enzo, uh, Kicks for the Soul, Lucky on Three Legs, Shoot to Kill, Mercurial Venom, Brilliant Dominance, Activate Hustle Mode, District Deals, and Stevie D. So um, here. Yeah, Coconut Kick, uh, Coconut Key Kicks, and uh, Austin, Drifty Scent, uh, Chris. Austin, I don't know if I said that one. Maximo, still kicking sports. Mm, Sneaker finds 12, Swoopman. Keep going down. Abby, Cutthroat, Willie Will, K. Brady, Manny Fresh, Stone Builders, Noco Flips, Baldy, Bonebra, Super 6-4, Resell Freak, and Middle M with a dollar. And got his popcorn ready. Kicks for the soul. And does uh, B have any snacks today? Um, yeah, I, I have to grab my Twix popcorn. I have yet to uh, taste that, but family size still alive. Let me see how many lines I got left. Yeah, how many are left? Sneaky feet. What's up? Big E's vending. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, <laughs> family size, bro. Come on. I got two <laughs> lines left. All right, two he's got two left. of them. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, uh, Lloyd, Marrakech, Big Gulp, Kenny, and, uh... Ross Shallington. So, all right. We are good. And everything looks good here. Let's start off with the show. And yes, this is our final Hustler Hog week for August. So we will have a new Hustler Hog. And the B will be choosing our last five entries. So hopefully these carts are organized. All right. They're starting off with Kobe 5 Pro Tro Lakers. And if you hit on any of the other Kobe's, um, undefeated, I know they did a raffle. And then the one before this one was the white and gold. Right. Did anybody in the chat hit on any Kobe's? If we're looking at the prices, my size right now, $662. Oh, man. That's cool, Glenn. That's only like half a day sales. Yeah. <laughs> and it sucks. $662. Your right. size, size nine, 609. Yeah. For your size. Oh, that's not surprising. My size is cheaper. <laughs> I know. Uh, Don't resell the Kobe's. Pavel wanted them for myself. Took all L's. I wanted one for myself for sure. Yeah. Matt, it was an easy L on that um, one. Yeah, I did try for undefeated. I think uh, tomorrow we'll know the undefeated back. Yeah. Mm, man. See. Catching L's. Um, hit 11 and a half from Kermit, wow. five time <laughs> champ. I think that's the size to try. <laughs> yeah, that's a good You know what? Maybe I'll try for that one next time. Right. See, I really want the EYBL pair. I believe that one is a girls, though. No? Grade school? Girls? Oh, yeah. I haven't I seen know. that one. It might be. Um, what was the one that had like the gold writing on it? Uh, that was one before this one that got released on Sunday. Yeah. Right. Uh, our boy Cisco got one. Oh, Cisco yeah. hit one. Nice. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think anybody got them. I think it's that hard. I guess so, because it was that is rough. It's men's sizes, but it's called the girls EYBL. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Stick it might have like a conversion on it or something like that. Yeah, I might have one. Catching L's. Uh L's and L's. Man, not very Man. many people at all in the chat. <laughs> I think one. One. Man, this is this is oh, rough, but man. let's see when some pairs come in. You think they'll go down for a little bit, like five eighty? <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, I think this will sell around four fifty to five hundred. Oh, I don't. Know. I think they might stay high. Really? 
Yeah, we'll see. Middle M with another dollar. Got the burger. Because at this point, like, if you're paying this money, might as well get some, like, what, the Kobe or some something, something, you know, Prelude Pack or Fade to Black Pack. Yeah, there's some different options out there. Because I know yeah, you don't like this, this soul. Yeah, the wearability, man. Like, yeah, I would get this, but it would definitely be sitting in the back. It's not going to be worn. You know, <laughs> but... But yeah, I did get my dunks though. I'll show you my dunks. Oh, look at this guy, dude! It came in a Nike Air box. It's weird. Okay, let me let me switch this view. There we go. What size? Your size? Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, I got nine and a half. Oh, okay. Because What's the nine, resale on it right now? I haven't even checked, but no. but it's 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 weird. See, like it's got like that uh flaky okay. glittery. <laughs> like a little texture in there. Yeah, like, uh, but but it, it does look cool. I mean, it's it's definitely very dunky, you know, like the color. <laughs> it's not like it's not like you know Chicago or Royal. Like this one's like a, you know, skateboarder. If I had a skateboard, I might have to uh, put some wheels in my Supreme deck. <laughs> <laughs> For the Instagram, you know what I'm saying? For, For the, the gram. gram. <laughs> For the gram. Let's see, non SB pairs come in a Nike Air box from Mercurial Venom. Oh, okay. So oh, this is, is not SB. <laughs> yeah. So there you what go. What is this? What is, is this? Uh, resale for the dunks around 250 to 300 Um, I hit on the Mavicoms too. That's also 10 and a half on sneakers from Boarding Call. So nice on that one. Uh, for the gram. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Now, how what B eats the Supreme Oreos from District <laughs> Deals? <laughs> yeah, they're gone because they only have like two in each pack. <laughs> <laughs> Boarding call asked, How was your birthday? How was your birthday? It was good, it was very oh. good. Um, you guys saw what I ate. I think the there was took even, you out to eat. Yeah, there was even some, some, some uh, dude that messaged me. It's like, what happened to your Instagram? All we see is food. I don't see <laughs> any tips of helping us. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. Come on, now. Give me a break. <laughs> Unfollow. Unfollow. I was like, what is my, <laughs> my page is not a bolo page. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Miles, what's up? Yeah, so so I did tell him to uh, watch YouTube if he wants real knowledge. So hopefully he's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, keep going with the Kobe stuff. I don't know if you saw this one. So, uh, Mamba Treasures oh. found in Storage Locker. Wow. Now, this thing was kind of weird because, so apparently some guy paid, I believe, 300 Yeah, 380 or something, 370 Yeah, 300 something And then he apparently called this guy that came out in Storage Wars, and then he ended up buying it for 13k or 11k. I don't know. 13k. It was 13k. Okay. Um, but a lot of the comments were like, "It just seems kind of fishy with like Mamba Week and everything." Like, like when did this happen? I mean, was this this week? It just seems kind of random. Like, honestly, I think this happened a while ago. Um. And then they just, you know, like because of the celebration or something like that, they put it out because I I honestly think it would have probably been worth a lot more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Like, like, like I was like, like, was he just desperate or did he not really know what's in it? Yeah. It's like easily like, you know, that's like one care pair right there, especially yeah. if they were game worn and like all those jersey like game over like all those memorabilia and everything like that um but but yeah the dude that bought that storage if he i mean obviously he was smart enough to pay 13k and you know pay it out he's probably holding on to him yeah so people saying here like uh storage wars has been set up there which they did admit too that means it has yeah. the show is part of the show i, I mean yeah not like yeah it's not a reality show yeah but anyway, kind of cool, uh, cool random post. Now let's get into some other news. Which uh, where's Baker Brand? I think he sent this to me. I don't know if he's here in the chat. Uh, Nike will no longer sell to Zappos, Dillard's, and these big retailers. So this news came out two days ago. Did you see this or no? <laughs> I'm not surprised, man. They don't even sell to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the outlets. 
<laughs> that was not even sell to us anymore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like that's totally the result of what's happening right now. <laughs> so it says cut ties with Belk, Dillard's, Zappos, Bozkoff's. Did I say that right? Bob Stores, Fred Meyer, uh, EB Lens. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Vim. And City Blue. I don't know what the last. I think a lot of these are like you know, like Macy's looking uh, stores. Yeah, uh, Belk is almost kind of like a like a Macy slash. Yeah, Dillard. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Dillard, I figure, is already kind of hurting. Isn't their stuff kind of like <laughs> <high> price? <laughs> I, don't all? Like, I don't even know why they're still you know why they're still open. But um, Zappos is you know was acquired by Amazon. Yeah, uh, very true. So I guess that's kind of like the trend of at first what did did nike stop selling to amazon did that, did uh, that yeah happen? they had like a big thing with that too yeah. um also with fakes and things like even though fakes still get through and yeah, so. so that's kind of weird let's see what the yeah. chat says uh what do you guys think in the chat um uh, with nike someone said wow they're really trying to protect their brand that's from jason which i do agree that's what the article said too them really want to just go straight to consumer more mm -hmm. sneakers app which you're taking l's all the time but they really want you to go through that and of course outlet and even the outlets like we'd had our last audio video it talked about how you know they were really kind of protecting their like higher end stuff and they don't really want to give out discounts mm -hmm. we saw 20 percent off but excluding jordan and basketball at my nike outlet what's going on here that was, was I Air think Force that was the first. limited to one pair that so, was the first I, when you sent me that i was like i mean i was supposed to be surprised but it's 2020 so <laughs> yeah, anything i mean this year yeah crazy. i mean you can't and, be different in 2020 just yeah like, that's what i'm saying like district deals can't even pull some shrinks he's a board member there so <laughs> <laughs> let me see nike stock for sure on the rise maybe more stores popping up in cities oh, what's up baker brand is here uh, let's see what else. Price is going up. Oh, no, not Dillard's. Doug the Pug. Uh, more for Ross from Chris. Dillard's is the West Coast Macy's. And let's see, maybe Ross, Burlington, and Marshall's will get a lot more stuff. Well, we definitely know they're getting um, a lot of the same Air Max stuff we've been seeing because we mm -hmm. noticed that they have the mini floods. And that's not changing. And we see a lot of Nike. Mm -hmm. Big Money Mo, what's up? Uh, welcome to San Diego Outlet Rules. We'll be getting tons of this treatment since 2018. Right. That, that is weird, right? Like, all this weird rules are, like, was, I mean, has been implemented in San Diego and stuff like that. And you know, some parts in California. Um, well, I guess it might be time to go to, like, the furthest or the, you know, the in the middle of nowhere nike outlet are you down for that glenn maybe we gotta take some more a lot more driving to find those stores that are just some good old employees that knows how to treat customers right <laughs> and none Back of the that temper style yeah none of that political bureaucratic corporate bull crap you know <laughs> it's just like oh these guys are nice you know like we'll treat them nice and you know, win-win situation. We move inventory. They sell the inventory for us. So, <laughs> Beast is I'm ready not, to go. I might try that. I might drive in the middle of nowhere. Idaho? Idaho, you know, uh, Nebraska. Nebraska you know? outlet. Can you yeah, give it a North shot? Dakota, South, and, you know, North Dakota, something like that. <laughs> Too legit to flip. What's up? Now, this is now this news, random news, before we start. B is going to enjoy this one. So on eBay, we did see 96 Mercedes-Benz owned by Michael Jordan sold for 202000 Did you bid on this? I tried. I tried. I, yeah, I got a bid by 1000 <laughs> 177 bids. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So they had some photos. They had all the paperwork uh, um, from MJ. Um, yeah, besides being NJ Scar, I think this would have still went um, six figures. Um, I think 120, 130, maybe 150 range. Just because of how rare this car was, just the spec, and they didn't make a lot. Um, 
but it's it's the ugliest line of Mercedes that between '96 to 2000. This is like they're they're like ugly face. So, <laughs> so but just the spec of it and the Michael, yeah, uh, they they did no, uh, they they this fetch a lot of money for that that style. I mean, a lot of it was just last dance effect. I'm sure. Last dance effect. Yeah, sure. everything that has all. Uh, everything from that documentary. Hey, hey, I heard. I heard the news that the bu- the buyer uh, still hasn't paid. <laughs> <laughs> the buyer still hasn't paid. Full payment is required within ten days of auction close. Yeah, see, see, I'm telling you, the buyer hasn't paid yet. It's gonna <laughs> take. He's gonna take forever. He's gonna take forever to pay. It's just um, gonna keep getting relisted. Yeah, over yeah. Over I think this guy. Right, like this guy thought the managed payment was, you know, automatic payment, and then he realized after the dude bought the the one the vid, and he's like, wait a minute, it was like managed payment is still there. So he, yeah, he's got to send a payment reminder every day because you can only send it <laughs> once every twenty four hours. You keep resetting the invoice over and over and over. Yeah, again. yeah, that's, yeah, that's what you gotta do. And then you finally just like, all right, just one hundred ninety eight thousand invoice. <laughs> <laughs> Please pay. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, what's up? Too legit to flip says send payment reminder or sell similar. <laughs> yeah, sell sorry. Similar. My... <laughs> That's what happened. Accidentally bought it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. My son accidentally bought this. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what well, happened. It was in my pocket. I was in a phone call with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ship to Russia? <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is wild. So oh. if we see it relisted, we know exactly what happened. Uh, <laughs> return the item. All right. It's, oh, like- last thing for managed payments. Did you get in? Hey, I finally got an email. <laughs> oh, man, this guy. It says September, between September 6th to the 13th. Oh, man. It's got, it's got like, <laughs> like two and a half more weeks. All right. Anybody in the chat who else just got in? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are your comments uh, in the chat for managed payment? Yeah. Uh, Doug the Pug, I hate managed payment. <laughs> so, hey, saying it like it is. Uh, Facebook is I'm still not in. I'm still not in managed payments, Mercurial Venom. This is wild. I'm not in yet from Chris. Never got an email to Ket. Honestly, not that bad, Sticker Finds 12. It isn't that bad. It's not that bad. But I do want immediate payment with the offers i mean we still haven't gotten that I, yeah i really don't care what payment met what payment method ebay goes as long as it works like poshmark you know like yeah, as yeah. soon as accept or or mercari right yeah take out the fees. Or, like or example like goat right Goat, you place your bid somebody accepts it gone yeah like like i don't care what kind of, I, I don't even care if they go to bank to bank whatever statement they have to do or just make it automatic like because best offer really is useless now if somebody sends an offer i just say okay i changed the price <laughs> yeah for sure and i think um i mean managed payments hasn't been bad i like everything at one place um that's my only that's my only issue right now is just not having immediate payment with the best offers which we never had anyway mm-hmm. but other than that i kind of like everything you know, set where it is and not to deal with PayPal fees. And someone said also too, not dealing with, um, you know, PayPal and, you know, people yeah, trying double, to get their money yeah, back. Double, dispute, and, double disputes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's not bad right now, but I think they still have some things to, to work on. We'll see when they do. So what about the other platform, StockX and Go? How are your sales? What's been going on there? Uh, let's see what the chat says. I can tell you right now, goat, <laughs> goat today. I got three attention needed emails. Well, four. Uh, first one, I I sold one of the flints with a damaged box, and there's an issue with your shoe, damaged box. Even though I listed it and sold it as damaged Damage? box. <laughs> oh my god! I know, and I'm like, come on. So I sent them. So I was like, I'm not offering no discount on these. Right. And I sent them an email and they're like, oh, we noticed the mistake. We'll get back to you in five business days. 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. <laughs> uh, let me see. Goat is on fire. Goat has been booming this week. Goat has been on fire. Miles, StockX, Crickets, but Goat has been good. Goat's been good. Um, I, I, here's the thing. Like, I think StockX doesn't perform well because uh, not a lot of people actually put a lot of attention to it. Um you know, like it's, I, th- I think it's one of the platforms that we have neglected uh, in our business with me and my wife. So yesterday, my wife actually went through it all and noticed that there were so many expired uh, mm. uh, listings already. You know, yeah. like Goat doesn't expire, Stock Egg do- does, and then, and then there's just like some different updates, right, with Stock X that they've been doing. Uh, now you could put quantity. It's just you know the interface is uh, evolving. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I think that's what 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 needs to be, happen. I think you just gotta. I think StockX just needs a lot more attention than Goat. Uh, and I think you get a lot more. Um, I'd say access or data when you actually uh, use the desktop version. Yeah. Well, the crazy thing with StockX, though, is that, uh, man, they're taking a long time to authenticate stuff. Yeah. So I'm looking at one I sold an Air Max Plus on, uh, let's see, August 12th still has not been authenticated. Wow. I feel bad more for the buyers. Like, you're probably wondering, like, where's my shoe? Like, why is it taking this long? Right, right, right. I sold an up-tempo on the 10th. And still no, um, man, that's that's a long time already. So we're like talking about what we're on the twenty sixth. So I think for the buyers though, they're probably getting impatient. I would think. Yeah, from from what I've heard, um, buyers are getting uh, discount codes. Oh, oh, really? Just like fifteen percent because of late arrivals. I'm not sure. Somebody confirmed that. Um, um, I heard in the sneaker groups, uh, they were talking about it. Oh, okay. Man, StockX is whack. Uh, waiting for July payments still on StockX. District Deals just had a July sale authenticated this week. Man. I mean, I like immediate payment, you know, once we get it scanned by UPS. But, uh, you know, the buyers, things like that, they're going to get impatient waiting for their their shoes to come in. Two, three, four weeks? Come on, mm-hmm. man. Let's see. Let me go back on here. Breaking yeah, StockX, hire more people or pay me interest on holding my money for so long from Patrick. Uh, Baker Brand, 240 watching, only 51 likes. Hit that like button. Definitely agree. Hit that like button. Come on. Hit that like. All right. Let's go to cookie. <laughs> yeah, eat that cookie while we get into the sales. Uh, so this one for 110, Air Force One. This is part of the uh, bulk buy um this one i was kind of surprised a lot of the usa ones were okay as far as like the the sales go what was that that's crazy how that's kind of like low and you know well i guess there's no tiktoker that were were that that's what it is yeah they want the all white one or the all black one they don't want they don't want are you sure you didn't pay 70 bucks for this from ross (laughs) i know you sure it wasn't 49 yeah uh this one vaporfly four percent and I, I held on to this one for a long time and i really didn't i felt like this one could go a lot higher the bad things with this one is that uh the price did not want to come off on the bottom oh um, yeah um and also it's a really small size but it's a men's six and a half better yeah. for women's an eight yeah and like you know, like how just the conversion, right? Is there, 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 I mean, it's hit or miss. It's not like that person is actually that that lady is looking for that six and a half men's. Yeah, right. so this one, I really, uh, I could have just waited out more, but who knows? This one is still a great profit, though. It's still at ninety bucks. Uh, part of the bulk buy again. These are JDIs. This one sold for one forty, uh, and this one we see. Well, we paid the same price for all of them. And then we have another pair. I only picked up two pairs of these. They were both from Ross. Uh, they sold for the same price at 150 Of course, no box. And then the uh, weird-shaped grade school Vapor Max. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't pay 140 for that and make $10? Uh, 
Yeah. $12 profits like Jake or Jake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then our last one, uh, sold it for three twenty-five. People are wondering about this sold one. It. Yeah, hey, they sold. Go. Uh, Jordan uh, Trainer. There was a dude that did sell his for, uh, I think that was one for 140. Um, yeah, I mean, if if you were watching it and scouting it, right. man, that would have been a. I bought it in low ball. Yeah, I was checking when I was checking the solds, and I was like, man, 140. I was like, what happened to that one? I think they they sold immediately, of course, but oh, man, man. that one was wild. All right, and the C. Uh, anything else? These are only five we're covering, and we're getting into oh weekend releases, which led to with the uh, Kobe Pro Tro, so undefeated. Yeah. Which uh, yeah, tomorrow the twenty seventh. Yeah, we'll know tomorrow. We we'll get the email tomorrow. Yeah. So well, the good thing know. is everything is being shipped. Um, undefeated usually do like um, locals only raffles, so um, at least this time we have a chance. Yeah. Which one do you like better, the white one or the colorful one? I like the colorful one. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah, the uh, white looks white, like, the white looks like a zoom court, like a tennis shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. Uh this one I definitely have the colorful one. Jordan 3 denim also tomorrow. Two hundred dollars. Are you feeling these? I'd say it's the anomaly drop. It's it's the drop that I don't think not not a lot of people are talking about, but I believe there's not a lot of people, uh, not a lot of stores dropping this. Mm. Um, let me know if you guys have any info where this shoe is dropping. As far as I know, none of my Foot Locker is getting them, so that kind of like is weird. Um. My finish line, only one finish line got them in my in my city. So let mm -hmm. me know who got them or who found them or who won them. Let's see what the chat says. So smash or pass, collection or to resell, uh, trash three, shoot to kill. It does not like them. Pass, Mercurial Venom. Uh, let me see. I won the raffle. I'm reselling them from Miles. So where'd you win the, uh, the raffle from? That's finish crazy. line. I got, oh, oh, I got right. my finish line. Oh, okay. And let's see what Miles, where did Miles get yeah. his at? Maybe the same thing. Let's see. I like the Japanese version of this one. Uh, straight to the outlets, Mercurial Venom. Uh, let's see. Brick, Duds. Yeah, Miles said finish line. Um, Hibbit has them from Randy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's bad news. <laughs> uh, resale only. Uh, thanks for reminding me about my L's tomorrow, Mr. Sports LA in the chat. Let's see, Shoe Palace got him. Activate hustle mode. Mm. Um, so I guess it just depends. Um we'll see, these cop. we'll see tomorrow. Yeah, see what happens with these. Of course, the, the Japan one is pretty dope, but this one does have the jump man in the back, if that matters to you or not. And uh translucent heel tab. Right. So you it's get both like jump man and neck air logo. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of both. No. All right. Next one, uh, Fear of God Essentials Converse Skid Grip 120 also comes out tomorrow. Fearofgod.com and select retailers. Hype. So, what do you think about these and Jerry's design? I don't know, it looks trash. <laughs> Smash or pass on uh, Fear of God Converse. So multicolored skid grip high top is a nod to a particular pair that uh, Jerry Lorenzo saw in the mall in 1988. Man, it does look like it, to. it looks more like Vans than Converse, actually. Yeah, it kind of does look a little bit more, kind of like a Vans style. Yeah. Pass, pass, pass. Hell nah, pass. I need a clown outfit to go with these. <laughs> <laughs> pass, that's a too legit to flip. Uh, is that carpet stitched in on the sides? Yeah, more like... It's not even packed, so more like uh, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Toilet Water, Baker brand, 90s throwback. Uh, let's see, Pass, Pass, and Saved by the Bell for sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like Toilet Water. Yeah, maybe for an 80s workout video. Right. Yeah, you can do aerobics. Man, everybody's saying Saved by the Bells, given out their age. 
What's that? <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> what about? All right. We, okay. Let's say Sean Witherspoon's name was not attached to the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be it'd be called the unfinished superstar. <laughs> Or, All right, so uh, smash or pass on the Super Earth Superstar, uh, Sean Witherspoon. It's called the Embroidery Machine Went Crazy Superstar. <laughs> Let's see. Heck no. They're kind of cool. $60 at Adidas store if it wasn't Sean Witherspoon. Exactly. I made that trash but good resale. Pass. Laughing emojis. Resell ugly ass joint hard pass. They stopped in the middle of making them. Uh, <laughs> smash for yeah, the power went out. Just <laughs> power went out. All right, just cut the threads. <laughs> Back him. Man, you have all this material to play with, and this is what we get. <laughs> yeah, if if COVID nineteen was a shoe, man, this is this is bad, but. Yeah, they're going to sell. They're going to resell as well. I don't know what the prices are going to look like. But uh, Armand says Jake would trip hard on these. <laughs> no, um, uh, yeah, they're lows. They're <laughs> All right, so next one. Air Max 1. Oh, Ever. Yeah. Now, this is 140. Mimics the look of a 1987 OG. I kind of feel this. Yeah, it is super clean. A smash or pass to resell or for the collection. Uh, if you pick up a pair of these, one forty on Saturday sneakers app and select retailers. Pass to basic collection for sure. Need these for sure. Dope cop. I mean, I would get this for seven nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty bucks max. Let's see, money green. Willie will. I'll find those at Burlington eventually from Sneaky. Man, all them, all them eagles. Yeah. Eagles fan gonna go crazy. Yeah, eagles fans, dope. But pass. Let's see, Hulk. Oh smash. yo, it's a Milwaukee Bucks colorway too. Oh, here we go. They might not play again though. Only one day. They just want to rest. Let's see, sixty dollars with thirty percent off. Maybe our <laughs> day beast. Uh, I hope these flood. Activate hustle mode. So, yeah, pretty clean. Yeah, a little basic, but I, I like them. There's the uh, Protro Girls EYBL. And uh, so we're closing out Mamba Week with this one. And uh, inspired by Medusa with the dark green and white upper scale details and gold branding hits. So uh pair yeah. represents the love and support that it, Kobe it, gave. It does Kobe look like a, it does look like a Milwaukee PE or something like that. Fire, super cop, um, sick, fire, nice, smash, weakest five of the Mamba, but still nice. And uh, those shouldn't have ended Mamba week. Eh, fire. Thought these right. were the best out of the pack. I need these. And uh, L, for sh <laughs> L for show from Activate Hustle Mode. So, yeah, 180 on Saturday morning. Sneakers app, select retailers. Now we're not done because also on Saturday oh. we have the Union Jordan 4. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about this one. It looks like toilet water. Uh, Bro, it is, it is ugly. It is puke. It is trash. Like. <laughs> okay, what do you think resale? Okay, we know, we know resale is going to happen. Collection-wise, I think a very few people really want them. What do you think resale is going to look like? I think it's going to fetch for a thousand. Man. Yeah. It's ugly, ugly. If 2020 was a shoe, ugly as hell. Yeah, it's like. Know, it's... Two different colorways, though. We also got this one. Does this help? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like this colorway would have been a lot better if they changed the bottom. I felt like they got lazy. It's like, oh, let's just use the same midsole and bottom for the boat shoe. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like true. imagine if the bottoms actually had blue outsole in some, you know, off white midsole that probably would have kind of like put them together or m make so the red bottoms, right? Make the bottoms red and just accent it with something. But 
Man, that looks like piss yellow. Yeah, it looks like um, uh, I don't know, man. It looks like a uh, it's look it looks like an organic vegetable pancake or organic bread or vegetable <laughs> bread something. <laughs> yeah, not, we don't do well with organic. Yeah, they'd we be were... like, oh, try this. <laughs> this is healthy. This is good for you, but it's just like trash. Like. It's just, like <laughs> It's like it's supposed to be healthy, but it just doesn't look appealing, right? So that's what the shoe is. It's supposed to be hype, but it just doesn't look appealing. The tongue bothers me the most. I don't know. Like they so did you know the story, right? Like you can extend it, right? It's yeah. detachable tongue. I'm like, <laughs> who invented a detachable tongue? <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. Like I would literally laugh at that person that buys this for resale. I uh, buys this at on StockX. Okay, so this is the shoe that the dude wears this with the StockX tag hanging in it. <laughs> and I would laugh so hard if I see him. <laughs> 600, 800 bucks, whatever they decide to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is yeah. going to be bad. But still, you can try and see if you can make some money. I will definitely that, try. And I would sell it to somebody. And I would laugh. <laughs> Two hundred bucks, also more easy. Boost seven hundred. Uh, do you care for this? I don't even know what they're doing now. <laughs> In the chat, do you care for these? The uh, seven hundred. <laughs> Let's see. Laugh emoji. Those are nasty. Pass. No boost. Uh, unfortunately, passing on these. Definitely for resale. Uh, sign, nope. What is easy thinking? Clean well, ass blue. 200 retail, so you might have some, you know, $50 to be made on this. Yeah, and see what happens when they come out. Resell, but nowhere. Resell, don't even have boost in them. Yeah, if you're really just trying to make 50 bucks or 80 bucks, I'd suggest go to your outlets tomorrow early and buy that five pairs and make that 80 bucks. <laughs> that five <laughs> pairs. <laughs> <laughs> then try to flip this. That's me. I, you know, like if I'm trying to make money, I'd rather, I'd rather go in the outlets and buy my five pair limit, and and make that eighty bucks, and then have like the opportunity to find like a return there or something. But this is just nah. This is like this is the laziest way to make fifty bucks. That's if you <laughs> win. That's if you if win. If you win. <laughs> These look better in person, Mercurial Venom. Uh, Pavel says resell 300 to 400. I don't know. <laughs> it. I don't know. All right, let's go to the power rankings. Last week, uh, Marshalls did take the top spot, even though they were all tied at four stars. DD's at two and a half, TJ Maxx at one. So, uh, a lot of things to get into. Everyone uh, tagging on stuff. We also have Hustler Hogs. We're also going to have a winner. So a lot of things. Um, it's kind of funny, though, speaking of Burlington. <laughs> so I was thinking. I was like, you know what? I was having what, – what day was this? This was like late last week. Okay. I was having a good day, and I was like, you know what? If I see anybody wearing semi to great heat on feet, I'm going to, you know what, tell them something, something nice. Make their day. Oh. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? I was walking out of Burlington. The guy that works in the front, he's wearing Jordan 10s. Maybe not the best of Jordan 10s. Right. Plus, they are Jordan 10s. Right. But I was like, you know what? Hey, bro, like your Jordan 10s. And he's like, oh, thanks, man. Have a good day. I walked out. Easy. Done. You know what? Right. Good thing. I go to UPS, take my StockX stuff, my GOAT stuff. And then uh, there was a girl there. I see her once in a while, but not too often. She's wearing Vapormax Flyknit 3. Oh, oh, very nice. The blue ones. Yeah. I started scanning my boxes, and I was like, hey, I like your Vapormax. She says, oh. <laughs> that was the response I got. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, who responds that way? Oh, like. Uh, so they're just like. She still had like four more boxes to scan. Made so it made it awkward. <laughs> From there on out, like, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? No more compliments. 
<laughs> I ended that same day. I was like second person. Man, uh, it would happen to Glenn too. Watch somebody in the chat say compliment and they get an employee discount. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> she went middle lemon. That's exactly what she went. Mm. <laughs> So I, was, so I was thinking, it kind of messed with me, too, for, like, the rest of the day. I was like, did, number one, like, maybe she didn't hear me. I was wearing the mask. It was a little muffled. <laughs> number two, she heard something totally different. <laughs> like, Vapor Max didn't sound like that ass. Like, if I was like, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, I like yeah, that I ass. Like, hey, yo, I like the Vapor ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe that could have happened. <laughs> So who knows? I mean, that, that was like, man. Yo, that is, that is the, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, CBD, very vapor ass. She was like creeper. Like, oh, like, oh, my. Dude, that's probably the worst thing. Because I feel like everybody's deaf now. Like, everybody's screaming like, hey, yeah, yeah, what do you need? Huh? Like, everybody's <laughs> yelling down there. <laughs> Or, or number three, she has no clue about Vapor Max and just wears shoes and like right, right, not right. even a sneakerhead. Yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. The Vapor Ass. <laughs> <laughs> that Vapor Ass. <laughs> you should have said it the whole right. I like your Nike Flyknit Three Vapor Ass. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> hey, so now we go back to the UK. Hey, Glenn, you can't you can't stop at that one bad um uh, incident. You gotta keep going. All right, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, yeah. Let get let us know until next show on what are the other reactions that you've got. Cause dude, you could be like uh you know, you could be like a prank vlogger now with that. Okay, legit, Tim. <laughs> Let me just completely change it. Yeah, yeah, like. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go back. So power rankings, uh, but yeah, I'll try again and let's see. Uh, let's see what they say. All right, uh, do a video where you just do that. Yeah, <laughs> even be like, yeah man. The best thing you know is to be the viral video that you make. That one viral video. Compliment <laughs> shoes and record reactions. Dude, that is so cool. Yeah, I'll go to Ross. Oh, I love those RBX. <laughs> it's so comfy. So <laughs> two. Well, we didn't have any TJ Maxx uh, tags. And uh, so TJ Maxx, they stayed at one, even though they didn't have anything. DD's discounts still out there with the Tiger Woods and uh, some shocks down on clearance, size eight, forty dollars So there we go. Uh, next one, Glenn, you need to do a collab with Legit Tim again. <laughs> when Once COVID is over, then... Yeah, that would be it. That would be the, yeah. I like your vapor ass. That would be the title. <laughs> nice sneaks, bro. I don't think it'll be, it won't be that funny with dudes. Only to chicks, then. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what if, if I try, it, try, try it to some, some dude that wore vapor max and see what they hear. <laughs> Let's see what they hear. Uh, Mr. Warmo. I, like, I like your Nike Todos. <laughs> I like those Nike Todos in black. Uh, Mr. Warmo, anyone else Marshalls do this to their boxes? Oh, wow. Not a lot. So, not a lot. Um, have I you did, seen any of these Marshalls like this? I've seen one in Atlanta. Oh, this okay. seems like a big Marshall though when they do it. Like it's only like big bigger marshals. Yeah, so they ripped off the box top, like their Nike outlet or something. Right. Or Nordstrom rack. And uh yeah, so some people said a one kick finder says not mine. Let's see, <laughs> mine has a section like that, like in three legs. Uh, I have one crappy marshals that does that. I have three of those in my area to get. Mm. So uh well, Intramorph, I got a finger trap for you. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas Strip Store does this now. Uh, quite a few in Jersey do that. So. Oh wow! I guess a lot, a lot more often, uh, a lot more common than we thought. Yeah. So Marshalls did, did they did go down three and a half. Let's see what there is. 
Uh, Ronzo's Kids LeBron's forty-five dollars. Oh, wow. um, mm-hmm. Hyper Dealer size fourteen on the soldiers. We also have Air Force One activate hustle mode and Soul Shifter with the Kobe's Mamba Focus at forty dollars in black. All right, I'll try to go slow because I know when I like move fast, this thing gets all like mm. pixeled. Go to like two forty p. Slim Pickens with the New Balance down on Yellow Tag. Uh, Sneaker wow. Steel Flinder. Also some New Balance. Uh, Bam Kicks with the Peter Millar. And the uh, Flips Anonymous uh, also with the, uh, what's that one? $40 yeah. Air Force One. Can barely even see. All my uh, all my, all my New Balance are trash. They're like the <laughs> five, seven, one, something like that. Mm. They're trash. <laughs> So we got these, we got cartfuls. Next one. <clears throat> uh Willy Will. Oh. Some Barclays for Jake. <laughs> Wherever Jake is. Uh Barclays all day. Says Caged Beast. Resell Freak, also with the Barclays, $40. And then uh, Nomad Expert with the Gary Paytons. And they were also down to uh 40 bucks. Quick question. Are this like Barclays retros or was they like they've been made a long time ago? Um, I don't think I don't even know what he's even yeah. about. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's Glenn's giveaway answer. What <laughs> did Barclays come out? <laughs> <laughs> what year were they released? Uh, Barclays clocks pass on those Barclays last week. Yeah, um, Barclays are trash, <laughs> <laughs> but they're still good for the collection, though. If you're an old school fan, yeah, 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 yeah whatever. <laughs> But yeah, it just makes me laugh because, like, you know, watching the halftime show and TNT with Barkley, he just gets demolished by Shaq all the time. I know. <laughs> I see. Caught the Barclays for 40, sold on 100 on GOAT, Sneaky Feet. Oh. There you go. I, I, I guess the old people are now downloading GOAT. If you see Resell Freak, uh, look at the fancy box, too, that they come in. Have you seen these? Yeah, I I told you I've ha- I've bought one, but they're like really narrow and have really high arch, and it hurts my foot. I think that are these kids for forty or are they men's for forty? Uh, I think they're kids. Oh, they look big. Yeah, okay. box of the arch, though. Who is they're this? Big. Resale freak. I don't know if he's here. Um, <laughs> he kicks for flips. Marshall's morning <laughs> finds with the proto. Hustle be your dog is <laughs> trash. Uh, a mile high hustle, a big money mo, forty dollars in their Jordans, and uh, look at that Lamar Jackson jersey, Raven sitting there, Marshall. So screen printed, but definitely pick it up. Mile high, you don't realize how often I say trash. <laughs> like I say it all the time, and I see I say it when people are around, and they say, "Wow, I love how you say trash." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Stevie D, two dollars sixty nine cents for Jamal on the vapor ass. Um, <laughs> vapor ass is gonna be like our. Look at, we need shirts now. Yeah, we need shirts. <laughs> uh, Super six four, killing it out there. Got some high end cleats, and Mad Shewer oh. also high end cleats and Kyrie's. Man, this cart. big money mo two cartfuls. Wow. And in vintage, also with the undefeated Ultra Boost. So forty dollars. You saw that one. And next one. Yeah, we're gonna start a hashtag, and then or some random person is gonna win next week. Hashtag the brass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rubber City Resale, fifty dollars for the twenty nineteen size eleven only. District deals. Marshall's, what's going on here? One twenty nine. <laughs> Man, Marshall's got some balls to raise that up to one twenty nine. Yeah, women's too. Yeah, women's too. Right next to the Skechers. Uh, size eight, nine, eight and a half, different sizes in there. Yeah, that's that's when I just start like ripping the tags off and put the vapor max on the Skecher box. <laughs> <laughs> I sell this vapor max without box. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sourcing code seventy dollars, which the men's is cheaper than the women's on the Vapor Max Plus, seventy bucks on that one, and Zapatos fifty dollars for the Fear of God, and uh, eleven and a half. Can see the little ones display fifty bucks. 
Man, I remember when these first released, how disappointed everybody was. <laughs> exactly. Like, man, what is that? What is the Spirit of God gonna release? And then you saw right. these, and everyone's like confused. Well, the well, the crazy part is the box of bougie, right? And yeah, then it is. They start opening it, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder what shoe the box is better. Yeah, box is better than the shoe. Right. All right. Let's see Faith Lopez. Oh, we're on to Ross. I didn't even notice. Okay, oh, we wow. switched. Uh Ross, four stars. And what we're gonna see on here is very similar uh, pickups from everybody. Seems like Ross is getting bulk of the same right. items in yeah, colors. Right. So. I'm telling you, yeah. I think it's like that quarantine inventory, you know? Um that they they thought they were gonna send to the outlets, but uh, outlets were closed. But they were like, "Hey, Ross, Marshalls, you want some?" Yeah. Yeah. Someone in Marshalls corporate watching Hustler Hacks. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what it is. <laughs> so four stars for Ross. Uh, Trap all Bundy. Congrats on that one. Sold these for one fifty nine on the uh, fat tire. Yeah. Mike uh, or Nike Enzo. We got the boots, which easy money on the Nike boots. Yo, that's uh, my goal. That's my goal. Come winter time, I want to rock some fat tires. Give me <laughs> I need some nine and a half. See, like that'll add two inches of my height, man. Yeah, that's very true. There you and go, right they're there. Very comfy. They're very comfy. Let me see, you can smell it from across the store. Quality fry yep. boots. Exactly. And then Faith Lopez also with the Under Armour boots. <clears throat> so all boots going on here. Uh, Faith Lopez also with the pres uh, Presto JT resales with the Ultra Boost. Don Alpha Cleat with uh, Candy Apple Kyries. Random Kyries in here. You know, this guy finds random yeah. stuff at Ross. Yeah, he's Mr. Totally one off. One -off. Yeah, he's yeah. Mr. One off. Uh, flipping it good with the uh, Air Force One low at 40, size 7. So. And uh, next one, activate hustle mode. Jordan Cleats and Sal with the uh, 720 for kids and MDs. Eddie with the LeBrons and uh, Chai Sneaker Deals with the 98s and more. Um, so it looks like uh, multiple pairs going on here. Next one, Ross finds Oregon with the SpongeBob hoodie. And then uh, flipping Patty with the Jordan shorts. Uh, they are listed high, but I didn't see any solds on them. Uh, Ronzo's and Maximo, both with the Vapor Max Plus and in orange and $55. So, uh, big one, what's up? And then <laughs> next one, Ross Guru, Thrifty Scent with the 98, the cork one. You like this one or not? What? Remember the you cork? talked about this one? That, yeah. Yeah, I told you it's like a walking bulletin board. <laughs> oh, they didn't like these. <laughs> Posted uh, <with> some pins. <laughs> uh, flip the script, 98s, 97s, and JT resells also with the 97s. Um, hadn't seen that color before, like a gray and red. Next one, Daily Hustle Stone Builder oh, Air wow. Force One. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, bam. Kicks also with the up tempo, and I think they had like a small defect. Either way, you could definitely take these size 12, $55. Also got Derek, also got the four D's. Um, it says finally, and I don't know what the price was on these though. Let's see, Oscar corks are flooded everywhere. Uh, corks are trash. B voice from Sneaky corks are flooded from Miles. I passed on these corks earlier this week too. Just all those red and white ones for grade school intramorph. So a lot of corks out there. People are passing. There's probably quite a bit of them. Some jerseys and clothing. Drum the Hustler with a couple of jerseys here. This is the long sleeve for the Saquon. I don't know how I feel about the long sleeve. They are a little weird, but I also saw Baker. Um, what else did I see? I don't remember which one. Uh, golf jersey, Jerry Rice, and Sherman. And then uh, La Vida Retail, Barcelona. And then Drum the Hustler with the Jordan shorts. And the big swoosh. Uh, these sell pretty good, the shorts. With the big swoosh on them, though, at least. All right, next one. Let's see, Marshawn and Derek Carr jerseys. And Resell Freak with Aaron Rodgers. 
Now Arizona finds Eli Manning stitched, uh, but hustle don't stop with Julio Jones, Saquon, and a Peyton Manning all 325 retail. Wow. Yeah, so that one was wild. I think two or three of the Saquons also were in there. So Messi jersey's about to be showing up at Ross. Exactly. Took the L. Start seeing those Messies. And then more jerseys. Don Alpha Cleet also got the 325 retail Saquon. Josh Norman. Uh, well, Redskins. Much, not a team much, anymore. How much are these uh, say, uh, the, the Stitch? The 325. Are they 39? They are, yeah, they're 39. Uh, Trubisky jerseys, Matt Ryan, another one, Sohn 29. And uh, 29 or 39? I thought some were 39. Mm -hmm. In between both. I think uh, Redskins fan. So there we go. Washington football team is a new team name, not Redskins. All right. Oh, 29. Oh, wow. I can find one of those Saquons. Pretty dope. Uh, resale Freak, Price Assassins, City Hustle, Finds and Flips, all Ultra Boost, all $40. Man. Yeah, not bad at all. Fine. Uh, which, is, which one do you like? Which is the cleanest one? Black and gold's pretty clean. I like the black red, though. Black, oh, black and red. This black one here. and gold's clean, too, for yeah. sure. I mean, I'm interested to see how the... I mean, I just can't bring myself. Like I keep saying, like I, I want an ultra boost, want boost, but I just can't. Yeah, I can't. can't. I, I'd rather rock Vans at this point. I did buy Vans though. <laughs> the comfort light. Uh, so. Okay, so you can't wear them. Checks over stripes. B's yeah. not gonna give into it. Either. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, Nike Enzo with the Kyrie's also got the Air Force One a deal account eight 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 just flexing here with boxes. I don't even we don't even know what's in here. Uh, Last road with the Jordan cleats and also the Jordan twelve. They were B grade at fifty five dollars. So would you still pick up? Yeah, the this is the uh, isn't this the international right? International flight, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. I think for some reason they're they. They were priced high, but but see, doesn't doesn't it look like the Obsidian Twelves to drop? Yeah, and the Indigo, all <laughs> three of them look at each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they all look alike. Uh, Levita Retail with the ninety eights, four pairs in a little cart, big money mo with the everybody. Boot. Everybody's lining up their carts, pretty good. Yeah, look at that, very nice. Uh, the Man Mister Information Flyees Vapor Max 270 React for Alpha Omega. Uh, keep going, Lazaro again with the boots. Just fire deals with 98 and some of the football cleats. Romaleos, uh, just fly and Noco flips also 98. The 95 Giraffe for kids, 720s for kids, Coconut Key Kicks. Uh, Tailwinds, ISPA, 98, and more in here. So Man, everybody's hauling cart fools. Man, <laughs> these people got deep pockets, man. This is capital intensive because Ross finds ain't cheap. They keep going up. Well, depending on the shoe. Look at that. Sneaker engineer. Oh, he's definitely an engineer. <laughs> Uh, Lysan 88. I don't know if I say your name right, but uh, also got a little mix of things. Looks like the uh, Flyknit Air Max 90, Air Max Plus, Air Force One, 97s, <laughs> 98s, kicks for flips, Soul Searching's on, 97s, 98, and more. So, tailwinds. People yeah, talk about tailwinds. People are just filling up their cars to get bigs. I, I <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We need to have a competition with, with fire carts. <laughs> you know, like not with some random flooded carts, but hey, well, B is picking them this week, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, but we'll see which five he chooses. Right, he may not even choose any of these. <laughs> uh, full counter flips, um, also nice and organized. Got some vapor max in there. Soul searching's on, up tempos, and that he eats. Uh, Felicia also. With the what is the 95s, the soldiers, and then Martino finds as well. And also got the Air Force One. Let's keep going. I'm trying to go slow so this thing doesn't get all blurry. 
uh, Lysian also got the oh. uh, 97s, the 90s, the Vapor Max, two pairs of Vapor Max. This is actually pretty good. Um, pretty good stuff on this one. Ross finds Oregon. He said the flood pretty much just came to his one store. I think he ended up getting like two or three cards or something. Wow. That, um, that Hustle Crow. That's touchable, though. Oh, Hustle Crow with the gold? Yeah. Uh, that, 20 bucks. That one might be sleeper. Electric Relish says, I guess there's never enough from Electric Relish in the comments. I don't think this is flooded, though. The gold swoosh. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, eBay Poshman. And uh, not sure if these are winners, but I'm giving it a shot. And Flyees and some other stuff. I think, what, yeah, is that Pegasus? Uh, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Uh, <laughs> just, well, Hustle Crow, you like his you like his entry? Yeah, that one. I like that entry. The, yeah, the one the entry. Bottom, the, is that the one in the bottom that said, this might be, uh, I'm trying, this might not be a winner? Yeah, yeah, eBay Poshman. Yeah, so you eBay Poshman. If you're trying, you gotta arrange it and just make it nice and neat. Oh, be picky for this one. <laughs> oh, Burlington time. Oh, yes, sir. Now, smooth sailing, Chips Ahoy, Felicia Chips Ahoy, Eminem's minis. Bro. And Butterfinger for Nicki Minaj. Dude, that Eminem's mini and Butterfinger right next to each other. Man, that's like hustler snacks find. <laughs> oh, just, and Twix. Sorry, I, I can't believe really I forgot this Twix. Twix. Right. I bought the Twix because I found them, right? The Chips Ahoy and the Minis, I have yet to find them. So oh. hook your boy up. I'll pay I'll pay whatever. Uh, I'll pay what the cost. You Send pay over retail? Yeah, and then uh, we'll review them. Which, which popcorn is the best? I know Butterfinger is always the winner, but I'll, I'll have to <laughs> ones. Tyler says you got to hit five below. They have all of them. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you don't have to go hunt Burlington. <laughs> okay. You don't yeah. have to go out for the finds. Oh, really? Man, thanks, man. That's such a – because I actually went to Burlington to find this today. <laughs> <laughs> Momo Dog says we got sneaker, uh, Snickers oh, flavor too. Wow. Yeah. Clear the bag in two days. My eye hustle. I'm telling now, you. Now, this might be find. This might be find of the month from Burlington I'm, find from I'm Sneaker God. Me, me, and Glenn, as soon as we discover this, every time there's always an open bag in the car. Like, poor rental car. Every time we return it, there's just like flakes of popcorn <laughs> you just like a mess these yeah. slobs yeah because you don't eat it like one at a time we just grab like a thing and just like, yeah <laughs> yeah you can't just eat one at a time now look at this easy checkout four items or less credit card or debit card that's that's like a reseller kind of table i you like know, this when you're just finding that fire find you know when you find <laughs> When you find that one pair of Air Force One high camo, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to go check out. And you get hey, one don't, pair. Be, don't be laughing. I actually have six of them. And I haven't <laughs> even listed them <laughs> just because <I'm>, the <laughs> comms are so bad. But I did buy them. I did, uh, I did buy them for a 50% off, though. So oh, okay. Good. I don't want to let that slide. But Yeah, I'm just waiting for hunting season to start. You know, I'll start posting them. You could return them for a bunch of bags of popcorn. <laughs> oh, for a full price? <laughs> <laughs> you should. See, Mr. Mormo, semi selfie. This is what we need. Remember, we said we we're going to do a selfie hey, giveaway? Hey, who is okay. Mr. Mormo? Yeah. Uh, we got to look at his entries because if he's got some good entries with a selfie, oh, for sure. For right. sure. Well, we're going to work on a giveaway for next month. Right. You know what? Next month, September, only entry to win the shoe has to be a selfie at the store oh that's good like uh maybe like there are few finds you know put like a two or three shoe and then do a selfie like that yeah or yeah. if they have a lot they hold it and they ask the the lust prevention guy to take photo of it. yeah some <laughs> yeah <we're> gonna... <laughs> district deals you know district deals gonna be hiding district deals nobody knows what it looks like he's like oh, a yeah. ghost a ghoul Hey, the good thing about this, though, everybody's going to have a mask. Yeah, so see? So, right? Like, we really don't know who Mr. Momoa is. You Very know? true. 
So, so we got the shades and the mask, you know, next thing you know, somebody's got like a, uh, a face shield, you know, looking like those football players that has like a visor, you know, <laughs> Brady in Tampa. Yeah. So nobody knows who's who. So <laughs> flipping vintage in the 95s, good batch store with the USA, uh, basketball backpacks, $30. Um, I know Willie Will, I think, picked up a bunch of these, too. Sticker finds 12 uh, with the mids for Jake. And the uh, tempos, $50, which we know these are at the outlets as well. Um, how much are they at the outlets? Still, like, what, 80-something? Yeah. Um, they got that to, like, 79 on the back wall. Okay. Uh, Coconut Key Kicks. Look at that. The Golf, 35 bucks. Uh, we also got more up tempos, 49 mile high hustle, coconut key kicks, also with the uh, on court, and a uh, half dozen hustle with the uh, SB with what 40 bucks. So there we go with those. Keep going. The Kyrie's KS reselling in oh, boys, wow. though, $35. Wow, more Kyrie's, keep your god. Uh, see 50 bucks for the one stone builder, six and a half. And a Bam Kicks, also with the ones at $50 and in blue. So size 11. Yeah, not not bad. I don't even see anything like this out there. Next one. Garbo Finds. Swiper. Um, yeah, Swiper now out there. Two pairs. So we got uh, Nike Enzo also. Uh, $29, Darren Fox. Coconut Key Kicks again. And Ronzo's. I'm yep. also with the Air Max one, Hound's Four Tooth. Horns, Hound's Tooth. I actually wanted, I my uh, my wife accidentally listed them. I actually bought it for myself. <laughs> I listed them and they sold. <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> there we go. Burlington is on fire from Miles. Um, what I like about the Burlington finds though is that they're like unique finds. They're not overly flooded the same stuff over and over again. Um, <laughs> oh, my, what is he talking about? Uh, let's see. Willie Will uh, with the 2017, $70. Willie Will also with the 98. Thrifty Scent, which these are the ones we have at my Burlington size 18 or 19. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> and at least he got a size 14 here, $50. Uh, sourcing code for the Lowe's. What's up, my people? <laughs> <laughs> Next one, the Vapor Max with uh, Big Money Mo. Activate Hustle Mode. Also, the Vapor Max that we've seen at uh, Ross. They're 70 bucks in Vintage with the Flyknit, uh, Vapor Ass, and in and Indie Finds, 21. 70 Ooh, bucks. Indie Finds, not too far. <laughs> All right, next one. Jersey Finds to the 2019. 365 deals. Seventy dollars. You like these new Burlington tags? Does it even matter? I mean, I think it's a lot easier to to see, see the price. Right, right, right. Maybe for the maybe for like the uh, old people that they struggle and mm-hmm. what's that price <laughs> say? <laughs> what's the price say? Like, uh... Tatum's at forty for oh, uh, kids. Kids is at size five. Mm-hmm. And uh, Price Assassin says, uh, "Thanks for the thanks to the B for getting me the uh, 97s." Yeah I, yeah, I I need to talk to him. He needs to put up a full photo of this car. Now, looking at this, and uh, not you know, you might look at it and see well, what kind of car is this. Now, looking at this little emblem, I would say that's a GTR. Yeah, yeah, it <laughs> is a GTR. Yeah, a million <laughs> color array and. Uh, and uh, he mentioned that he wanted that uh, that shoe, and I was like, "Wait a minute, I have this." And then it was his size, and then he took this photo, and I was like, "Man, it looks identical." Like, I I don't know how like how they got the color gradient, but it does look identical. Oh, well, maybe we'll see the ride. We'll see. I know. Maybe or maybe he'll let me drive it. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, AK Rowdy resellers also got the Vapor, uh, Vapor Max Flyknit, Mr. More Mo, Vapor Max Plus at 70, Tampa Bay Finds, and Willie Will. More Vapor Max, 70 bucks. Pretty clean, also in uh, white. Yeah, it does throw me away because everybody's saying in the chat it looks like a DD's, uh, DD's discount tag. 
and and then you look into it and it's got that that triangle that uh uh red triangle in the corner and it's like burlington <laughs> burlington uh price assassin says b it's good to have dreams yep i guess i guess i'll just have to get mine <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why he's not letting me drive it. That's, <laughs> thank you for the motivation, because because if I don't get one, then I'll never I'll never drive a GTR. So I guess I have to get one. Maybe or next month. You, <laughs> you can bid on the Jordan car. Yeah, maybe next month. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next month. Mister Mormo <laughs> and uh, Heel and Rowdy Resellers and Willie Will with the foamies. Foamies. Seventy man. bucks. Foamies man, everywhere. Everybody, everybody with the foamies. Hey, winter is coming. You know, you know this is like this is like the sneakerheads Tim's. <laughs> so let's see what sizes we get though. Twelve, maybe I can't even see seven in men's, and this one five and a half, six and a half. I can barely see the the tag on those. Um, sneaker finds twelve. Coconut oh, wow. key kicks. Insomnia Antiques and Thrifty Sand, all the Jordans, but we got the Concord cleats at 35 And And uh, for kids, we got the 12s. Uh, Chinese New Year, $45. So what size are these, though? I can't really see the size on them. I know someone got a huge size. Oh, this one's size 15. I don't know what size this one is, if it's huge wow. or not. Sticker finds 12. Um, but either way, I mean, $35, $35 for the Concords. Uh, you can scoop those up. And we're not done. Now we get into the carts. Uh, oh, Willie wow. Will with the Basketball Team USA backpacks. Big Money Mo. More foamies in here. Kids foamies and the cleats. Big Money Mo again. Vapor Max Plus. 720s. Backpacks. And a last of the Big Money Mo. 95s and Air Force One and Romaleo. So three big money Mo tags. Will he be a finalist? We will find out from the B. Next one, Martino finds. 97s, 95s, and Resell Freak, Turbos, Backpacks, Good Batch Store, 270, Vapor Max, uh, more Vapor Max in there, and Sneaky. 270, 98s, man, Air Force One, 95s, and more. Next one, Mass Finds with the cleats on Sneaky again, Vapor Max, more cleats, Tailwind, keep on hustling. With we got, uh, let's see, Vapor Max Flying It, Vapor Max 2019, and then Martino Find 720, and Air Max Plus, and more. At least there's some unique stuff out there and not the same overly flooded mm -hmm. things we've been seeing. We're not done yet, though. Flight Posit. Uh, Chai Stinker Deals. Flipping It Good. Cleats. Flipping Vintage. Foamies again. And a Willy Will. Back at it again. Foamies. 720s. This one's so good. We know about these. Right. And uh, Air Max Plus USA. And some more backpacks. So, cartfuls. And we are done. So, power rankings this week. We had TJ Maxx at one, DD's at two, Marshall's three and a half, Ross at four. They're consistent, but we do get some flooded cartfuls. And Burlington at four stars. Still, uh, this one now at number one with some uh, unique Vapor Max finds. So, that's where we're running out the power rankings. All right. Giveaway time. Who's ready? Here we Let go. Let me make sure, Let me make sure I have my an answer. Let me, yeah, make sure I get my <clears> answer, <throat> which I've been kind of screwing up quite a bit when I have my answer ready. I thought I took a picture of this one. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> I always drag this thing out. Uh, yeah, this here is it is. Glenn, this is Glenn's break time. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. I don't think I took a picture of this. <laughs> Of course. All right. Let me uh, go back. Where are we? Go in here and remove this real quick so you guys don't see anything. You guys don't see the answers, but hopefully you're ready for the giveaway. And nothing yet. Nothing yet. And there we go. Let me go back. And giveaway time. Here we go. 
What is the style code and the year they were released? Do you know this one? B. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> All we need, style code and the year they were released. That's all we need. You know what kind of shoe they are, maybe. And it should be an easy answer. Easy money. $30 straight to your PayPal account. Dominic says, let's see, Dom was our first answer I could see. Let me double check. And you are correct. AT8086-002. Came out in 2019. Liked by Noah to flip it. So there we go. Easy money to, who did I say? Dom? Let me go back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dom, you have one. So we'll send that over. And uh, $30. So here we go. Congrats to that one. And uh, you got the answer for the fear of God. Jake would rock from Josh. All right. Now... August Hustler Hog. We have five open spaces on here, which the B will decide who shall be uh, entered here. Uh, let's go. So we have to go back. Right, right, right. Now, do you, I know there's some memorable, memorable ones that you were like, you know what? We can throw them in. So let me also get this one open so we can add them onto the list. We'll do our giveaway. And uh, this is for the Jordan 12s, the Gary Payton. Or if you want a flint, you can choose a flint. Or if you want a fire at five, you can have a fire at five. No, Which I don't think you're going to that one. Yeah, you're not going <laughs> to. So it's up to you. You choose what you want. Okay, let me get this thing here so we know who is in. And then remove... Stop screen, share screen, do that again. Application window, entire screen. Okay, get this out of the way. Can you see everything, B? A little. Yeah, this is going to be kind of small. Yeah, so, you, can, yeah you, you can move over the, yeah. The yeah let me get this. Yeah, so we have these five spaces. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Right, right. All right, does that help a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to start off at, uh, where were we? DD's Discounts. Any of these? Nah. <laughs> Next. Marshalls. Look. Down, down. Nothing from Marshalls. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Nothing yet from the BE, okay. Barclays. Uh, eh. Hard pass. <laughs> I'm not old. <laughs> Next one. Resell Freak. Okay, okay. So. And vintage. Uh, you got to probably do more than a jersey to get that one. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, What about Mad Shewer? High in cleats. Uh, who's that one that has the... Yeah, that one. That one's a uh, contender with some Kyries. Who's the one that has the uh, big cart? The cart full. Big Money Mo. Is he in already? Big Money Mo is not in already. Oh, okay. Any more? Keep going down. Uh, District Deals with the 129 Vapor Max. Yeah, he doesn't count. <laughs> uh, Rubber City Resale, Vapor Max, Sourcing Code. Um, Sabathos is already in, I believe. Yes. And that's it. Uh, so, Marshall. Yeah, Big big Money Mo. Big Money Mo is in at number 16. Yeah. All right. So, Big Money Mo. Can't even spell. All right, Big Money Mo, you are in. Number 16. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Ross. Ooh, Ross going to be hard. Uh, Trap Al Bundy with a nice little flip. Uh, I also got some fry boots. Nope. Trap Al Bundy is actually already in. Okay. Uh, Faith Lopez, Presto, flipping it good. Down Alpha Cleat. Down. JT Resells. Uh, activate Hustle Mode. I think Activate Hustle is already in. Yes, he is at 15. Uh, let's see. Ross finds Oregon. Ronzo's Maximo with the Vapor no, Max. As, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's um, a unique find, man. Or, uh, Cork. 
Bam Kicks, uh, Derek Downing. Oh, with... I like those uh, the jerseys. I like the uh, go down. The I like three, the jerseys. The I'm not a jersey guy, but that one's like the Julio. I know Julio Jones, uh, money. That one. That one Saquon and uh, uh, Manning. Yeah. Uh, what else? We'll we'll keep that in mind. We'll keep. Uh, that. I was gonna throw him in, but you want to keep him in mind, so he's not he's not committed yet. You know what? We might have to take. Well, there's four left. We'll take that one. All right, the hustle don't stop. Yeah, is in. Yeah, if you bought corks, you already won. You don't need this raffle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was the eighty-one or sixty-one. I think eighty-one. Okay. Yeah. Let's see the chat. That I don't even see the uh, the chat. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me move the chat over here so I can see what people are saying. So there we go. Now we get to see everything. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Saquon, we saw that jersey. What about some, the uh, Ultra Boost? No, no not, not not unique enough. We can get that out of this outlet. What about Lazarud? He got uh, B grade on the well, 12th. Let me see what else. What else? He has a bunch of cleats. Oh, that um, one. Oh, you know what I like though? To keep scrolling. No, keep keep scrolling. going. Yeah, keep going. All right. All right. Keep Some going. Keep going. All right. Um, Full counter clips, uh, Martino. What are those that has the red, gray vapor max? What's the other shoe? Um, this one. Yeah. Uh, I think I don't even I haven't even seen these at my Ross. Are those soccer? No, I don't know. I'm trying to remember what it was. I know someone else tagged me on them. I just haven't seen them in my area, so I don't know. You know what? I I know for sure the Untouchable with the gold swoosh. You want Hustle Crow in? Yeah, 100%. Hustle Crow at number eighteen. Yeah. So I, I want to put it out there so people know there's actually a lot of money to be made in the football clip. I mean, you know, I don't know if everybody's, you know, familiar with my story, but football cleats got me got me here. <laughs> <laughs> Both soccer and football. But that one, um, just because the other colorways are flooded. Down. Anything gold, I think, with uh, football is, is money. All right. You heard it from the man. We got two left. Let's go to Burlington. Oh, man, that's so hard right there. I know. <laughs> Felicia got Chips Ahoy. I think Jim the M&M is, is already in. Huh? The Jim Butter is already in. Okay, and Eminem, they're in? Yeah, Jim oh, is wow. in. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. We got Mr. Mormo. We did get the selfie. We got Sneaker Finds 12 with the mids. Mr. Uh, Mo, what did Mr. Mo, Mo get? Is the the USA? No, this is just oh, a selfie. From the, okay. Good batch store got the uh, USA. Let me see. All, All right. right, Coconut Key Kicks did get the golf. The golf is a, is a uh, like runner up. Could be. We'll see. Okay. okay. Uh, Bam Kicks. I like that. Uh, that Kyrie though. That Kyrie's unique. Uh, yeah, the it is a kid though. Oh, they're kids now. Nah. The blue, <laughs> the blue Jordan ones—they're not really that that good. I've okay. I've had it. I've bought them at Dallas before. Okay. Um, what about coconut key kicks or Ronzos with the hounds? Uh, uh, they're okay. Let's go down. All right. Ninety-eight. So I also got some Jordans, thrifty cent, sourcing code. No, uh, go down. Uh, big money mo again. Oh. See, let's go down. I, I like the Vapor Max, but they're like, they're all right. What else? Uh, More Vapor Max? Good. Uh, man, is is there any cart halls? No. Uh, there are. What about the Concord? Oh, uh, uh, Concord, I think. It's, it's got to be there. Who 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 are those, though? Well, we got three different people that found them, so that's going to be tough. No, uh, we should raffle those three. Oh, raffle those three, or you want to keep going and see? Yeah. Well, Big Money Mo, look at that. Big Money Mo, three of them. So yeah, he, Big Money Mo, go in, yeah. He, and um, he's, he's got he's got the selfie, too, right? Oh, no, that was uh, Mr. Mo. Oh, oh why, why is there so many Mo? <laughs> I know. 
see, sneaky, keep it's, on us. Oh, Big Johnny Mo is already there. Yeah. Martino finds, and that is it. That? So, oh, that was it. Wow. Yeah. Who's got, got those, two more? Those cleats that he was holding. Who's that? The cleats. See, this one. The left. The the one that yeah. See that one could have been a lot better if we knew what what, what else was there. Yeah. Uh, the ch the chat is saying Don Alpha Cleat. He never gets in. Yeah, we'll put him on. All right, so you're saying Don Alpha Cleat, you want him in? Yeah. Wanna, yeah, because he's Mister One Off. Okay. All right. And you got one more entry. Hmm. Can you go up a little bit? See, see, I like the Concords. Uh, we gotta raffle those three. All right, we gotta. <laughs> I gotta raffle those three to see who gets in. <laughs> All right, let me go. Uh, sneaker finds twelve. Sneaker finds twelve is not in yet, right? None of those um, people are in yet. No, sneaker finds twelve. No. Then we got coconut key kicks. All right, and then we got insomniac. Let's see, antiques. Oh, I'm typing really slow. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, so they'll get in for that. We can now move this. We can also get, I think, random. You can still see everything, right? Right, yeah, I can still see it. We also got the chat right here. Yep. All right, so here we go. Max of three. One of these three will get in in three, two, one. Number one, Sneaker Finds 12 is in. So that was easy. Right. Whoops. There you go. Okay. Now, can zoom in. We're down to our 20. Let's see who wins. What are we going to do again? If your number comes out, you stay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me refresh this thing. Can you make the randomizer a little bit bigger? Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, ju yeah, just zoom in. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there you go. A little bit more. Okay. You can see everything. We are set. Max of 20. And we're going to choose 10. Glenn, so computer <laughs> working overtime. All right, three, two, one. Number seven, you stay. Stevie D reselling. You are in. Next one. Number one, Lucky and Three Legs, in. Next one, number 16, Big Money Mo, you're in. Next one, number nine, Sneaky Flips, you are in. Number one, we already did that one. Number two, Carolina Kicks. Number five. Number 19, Don Alpha Cleat. Oh, here we go, there's six. Number 14, Brock. Seven. Number eight, Jay Minaj. Number, no, we already did that one. Number 14, did that one. Number 20, Sneaker Finds 12. Oh, there you go. One more. And we did that one. Number 12, Slim Pickens. Oh, there you go. One mile here all right we shall eliminate some of these you know what's going to be the funnest thing about this what you have to be present to win <laughs> <laughs> all right hey, four, five. i like that though i like that too eight nine and ten all right, this is what we're down to. Hopefully you guys are here watching. And if you are not, someone else might win because you're not here. Baker Brand, 200 plus watching, hit that like button. Appreciate that. All right, hey, Jay Minash is here. Roll call, who is here? Carolina Kicks is here. Jay Minaj is here. Um, Slim Pickens is here. Stevie D is here. 
Sneaky is here. Lucky on three legs is here, number one. So, all right. And Sneaker Finds 12 is here. All right. So, someone oh. right here. Brock, I don't think, is here. Don off a cleat. I don't know. All right. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Let me refresh. I'm going to start all over. Hey, so so after this, we got to make sure the top five people are in, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Are here. Is that yeah. that's what I meant? Mile High Hustle. He didn't get picked, but he's still here. Thank you for that. Oh, there we go. Here we go. First one. Number nine, Don Alpha Cleat, mm. which if he's not here, is he here? <laughs> well, we'll give him time. If, okay, we're going to give him time. Here, if I end up picking five, we'll have to pick another one. Okay. Next one. Number five, Sneaky. Sneaky Flips is he here. Yes, sir. Oh, here we go. Number four, Jay Minaj is here. Number seven, Brock. I don't know if Brock's here. Okay, we'll see. And number three, Stevie D reselling, it's which is here. here. Okay, so what do you want to do now? If Don Alpha Cleet and Brock aren't here. Yeah, we gotta we gotta remove them. Uh Willie Will, I'm here to represent Don Alpha Cleet. <laughs> Let me go back. Why don't you check before you pick? So we already said them their names and they're not here. Yeah, we gotta pick two more. Okay, so we're taking them off completely then. Yep. Right? Yeah. All right. Which I means the rules. So these are staying regardless. Yeah. So now we'll go three, four, and five. Big Money Mo is here, right? Yeah. Big Money Mo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he said he was the other. He was the other Well, I know Mr. Mormo was here. Oh, Big Money Mo is here. Yeah, he, he posted a GIF uh, emoji. Yeah, he's here. Yep, oh, he's there you go. Yeah, both okay, Mo's <laughs> right, Both Mo's are here. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, making sure. Uh, remember the same. Okay, two more. First one, number two, Carolina Kicks. And number five, Sneaker Finds 12. Oh, here we go. All of them are here, right? All of them should be here. Sneaker Roll call. Let me know. Trapo Bundy's here. Okay, this is it. Are they all here? Amen Carolina Kid, Jim Minaj, Sneaky Flips, and Sneaker Friends 12. All right, here we go. All right, refresh again. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Max is five. So now we're eliminating two to get it three. to top three. Three, top three. Here we go. So if you get chosen, you're still in. Carolina Kicks, you're still in. Oh. Again, number one. What? Three what? number ones? This thing's Let's broken. Let's see. I did it like four times. How can number one keep coming out? Okay, number five. So you can find slow. And our last one, number three, Jay Minaj. Jay Minaj. Here we go. <laughs> Sneaky bit <and> salty. <laughs> Sneaky and speedy. All right. Now we're down to one, two, and three. This is it. Refreshing it. Max of three. Yeah. Are we just picking it once? Yeah. Best uh, of three series? Best yeah. of seven series. Huh? <laughs> Best of seven series? What does that mean? So we'll <laughs> randomize seven times? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Here we go. Whoever oh, the winner is. Hold on. Whoever the winner is. Yeah. Here, Here we go. go. This is it. If, if you hit generate, this is the winner. Here we go. Here we Three, go. two, one. one. You have one. You are... Jay Minaj, which I'm Jay actually Minaj. pretty happy. Congrats. Congrats, our hustler hog for August. Yes, sir. Jay Minaj is in. And Jay Minaj also tagged us on the uh, beautiful popcorn. Oh, so funny. deserving winner. Deserving winner. Yes, deserving winner. Congrats. So... 
Let me get this out of the way. Man, there's like so much going on here. Okay, get this remove. So Jamie Nodge, what are you picking? There we go. They're here. What are they? What shoe are you gonna pick? Right. Oh man, that was uh gets me every time. Congrats, rigged. Oh, Twenty bucks maximo. Maximo, yes. Jamie Congrats, not here. Go out and get it. Korean barbecue on me. Mamba mentality. Man, Maximo, 20 bucks on the super chat. I do OB like three Korean barbecues now since yeah, we've yeah, been yeah. on virus. Yeah. I can't go anywhere. Yeah. So, yeah. Man. So the next few meals, I'm set. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Minaj, what are you picking? Let's see. Oh, Flint's. Oh, you get Fire at 5 Flint's or the uh, 12. Oh, the Garrett Payton 12. What do they officially call that shoe? Did they give it a real name? Pittsburgh Thoughts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pittsburgh Thoughts. <laughs> nobody, no, guys, nobody got robbed in this raffle because everybody had to be present. Somebody had to. Somebody alerted him to be here. He was not here at all on the show. The but that's Mile high, that twenty dollars or nineteen ninety nine. Oh, and, uh, oh man, Glenn, there's gotta be there's gotta be dessert. Because <laughs> Maximo is better than me. Mile high hustle. Thanks for that super chat. Throwing that in there. Uh, man, a penny less than Maximo. Oh, he said Flint. There we go. Gemini says, I want flints. All right. Let me know the size. And I can definitely send those out. Uh, anything you want to talk about? Anything before we go? Man, August is done. August is done. Man, we got what? Four more months left in this year? This is your last. This is your Q4. This is the big timers right now. This is where everything's got to be listed. I'm talking to myself because I have a lot. I have got a list. <laughs> I know B has everything listed. Um, September, man. September is last push. I'd say last push for. I think September is gonna be vital. Uh, September has got to be for me. I would, I would tag September as, you know how last dance is. You know you gotta have a title, right? <laughs> um, um. Preparation equals winning. <laughs> that's what it is. That's um, that's September. So, um, but maybe by the end of the month, I'm gonna start uh, listing down uh, shipping supplies that I'll need. I mean, we we say that we say it right, but we never actually like sit down and write it down. What do we need? Um, yeah. So I think that's very vital. Um, you know, nothing's more frustrating than running out of box, running out of ink, running out of label or something like that. So that's definitely uh, vital. And, and I think for me, I would I would actually think about what if my, I mean, when my sales double, I'm saying what if, when my sales double in Q4, right, can I handle it, right? So, for example, if I'm shipping 10, can I ship out 20, right? So... So I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a think about how how my routes will be. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm I gonna be uh, scheduling pickups from USPS. So those are the things. I think the logistics side of the whole business is gonna be uh, a lot more tighter uh, for Q4 because because during Q4, Glenn, we we all know this. There are still uh, there's still a bunch of deals that are gonna be coming out of Q4. Oh yeah, for sure. So, so if you are running like a chicken without a head during this time and you're not organized, you're you're end up spending more time shipping and organizing your inventory instead of using the X amount of time you have left to still source. Yeah. So I think that's why that's why it's very key. Uh, let me go back to the chat, sneaky feet, dollar ninety nine because I'm trash. Uh dollar ninety nine in the super chat. Uh, let me see. 
Jay Minaj did choose. Uh, she chose a size nine. Oh, so I'll step that over. Size. Hey, I like you. Money size. Yeah. Money size. Down, glance hands. Uh, let's see. Willie Will got heat to post. Uh, rookie reseller, B check my gram. I got some heat. Wow. Um, more. Is there some limit on returns at these discount stores? No, I don't think so. No, as long as <laughs> you just don't leave a bad taste in their mouth. Um, yeah, you should. But, it, but at the end of the day, they should they should take any returns anyway. It's store policy. Uh, do you guys suggest any good credit cards to purchase shoes to get some good cash back option? Um. So right now, both use PayPal card, but... yeah, we use both PayPal cards that have one percent unlimited cash back. Um, um, I know there are other business cards that that I have, but it doesn't have a high limit yet. Um, it does give me two percent, but it's just a lot easier and a lot more streamlined with PayPal. Um, yeah, if you have good credit, definitely explore that idea, and you know, talk to your banks and see what are the options because definitely do that. Um, also. Uh, definitely use if you're buying online. Uh, Rakuten, formerly Ebates, um, that's that's uh, that's a good uh, website to give you about you know three to eight percent on purchases for cashbacks. So Flykicks Flip got a Nerd Wallet and compare. Uh, Intramorph City right. Bank double cash two percent back on everything. Race App um, at Burlington five percent cash back. C and J Enterprises. Um, Apple Card at Nike, three percent back from Angelina, and the City Card again. Um, Apple Card, three uh, percent. PayPal Business Card doing twenty back on every one thousand spent right now. Already made one twenty back from Miles. So there we go. Yep. All right, man. Uh, anything else going on? I got a list. Um, Hopefully, I get some st good stuff for the videos because I've uh, time has been wild right now with Q4 going so, like coming up quick. Yeah, so like I mean, like me and Glenn are like we've been like on like a an attack mode, and we've been just like talking a lot more often, just planning and just trying to because both of this Q4 is 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 and will be our biggest Q4 yet. And yeah, and and from the last Q4s I've experienced. It, it was wild already. Glenn knows it. He sees all my photos and everything. <laughs> so how much more wilder will it be? You know, now we have a lot more experience and we're both going in Q4 with a lot more inventory and a lot more prepared. No, I mean, Glenn been buying like uh, cold items, you know, <laughs> I would say like for winter stuff and stuff like that. So um, just those preparations, I know it will pay off. I know it will pay off with, with what? After, I mean, since the stores open back up, we're already thinking Q4. Yeah, so, and I think, what did they say? Oh, I got the Costco bins out. These bins, like I said, I got so much stuff to list. I think that's been helping me <laughs> is like the bulk, the bulk buying more than like Ross and all that. Um, but like from the bulk seller that I buy from, he was like, he's like, I can tell you right now, if, there's like subscribers and all that stuff. Figure out like that you're buying this bulk stuff inventory from me. You're done. And I was like, man, like this, this dude was like dead serious. He's like, I don't want anybody calling me, emailing me, asking for inventory. I only deal with a certain amount of people. Right, right. So of course I would love to show my work into and like progress into bulk, but I can't, and I definitely don't want to cut off that. <laughs> That yeah. hookups. Well, that I mean, the the more you go into it, right, then you're you're definitely like like what he said. He, these people are busy people, right, and yeah. they don't want to deal with everybody. And and you know, in our situation, these people are the ones that are that has has the upper hand, right? Like at the end of the day, they don't need us. They can find yeah, exactly. they can find replacements for us. <laughs> yeah. So so those are the things that. At this point, like that's why we encourage you guys to just be consistent, put yourself out there, and and these opportunities come. Like like we don't seek this opportunity out every time we go out. We're not like who's the box who's the box seller who's the box seller. Like who can we can like no like this organically happens, and this organically happens when you do it often when you're consistent. 
I mean, Glenn's been doing this for how many years? What, five years? It'll be our fifth Q4 or something like that. Fourth yeah, Q4. and it's weird because every Q4 I've done something kind of different. Like, I was doing yeah. merch by Amazon for, like, one of the yeah. years. I was doing yeah. FBA for one of the years. Yeah. So I think this one's going to be, like, really just honed down on, like, sneakers. Yeah, more and sneakers and shoes. So, so um it 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 will be exciting. I mean, just to think September's coming in. That's why that's why we encourage everybody to just focus on on your process, focus on your supplies, so that when Q4 hits, you know, when you're prepared with this stuff. Like I I literally counted how many tapes I've used in the last month, and I'm gonna order double that per month for Q4. Yeah, so, you gotta be ready. It's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be wild. So you guys you guys got to do that within your own business and set goals and if you want a big big q4 expect for it to be big so um you know i'm gonna place an order for boxes uh just in case ups doesn't come through um just always gotta have those backup plans and if things you know happen and everything like that and this is the time where you guys polish your uh listings too uh, this is what I did yesterday, Glenn. I uh, ran through 200. Uh, uh, I have about like 16, 1,600 listings right now. I couldn't go through it. You know, it's the most boring stuff ever you could ever do. But yesterday I committed for 200. Uh, I wanted to check 200 listings and reprice them if there were things that I want to get rid of now to get capital in or these are things that I want to keep for Q4. Yeah. So I've done that i did i did 200 items yesterday i just sorted the oldest to newest mm -hmm. right because you want to get the the dookie out and then keep the quality in not trying to discount it yet because you that's when you can tell like this is going to sell good on q4 yeah. and there are items that's like oh man this is trash i've been holding on to this I, I i kid you not i sold an andy dalton jersey for 20 dollars shit so i don't care <laughs> if of me i'll lose money or not i want this out because one is that space in my bins and that's just something that i want in my store anyway so uh yeah so so you gotta go through all of that and 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 get all the capital in you know have as many capital as you want because this labor day sale is coming up there's you know q4 sales gonna come up and you know opportunity will always have will always come for people that are prepared um, roughly how much new inventory should we aim to be listing a week in Q4 part-time and full-time? Well, that really kind of depends on your personal goals and what you're trying to hit. And it also depends on what kind of inventory you're, uh, you're, I guess you're getting inventory from, mm -hmm. um, because also if you're sort, I guess if you're going to different stores, right. or maybe you really relied on Nike outlet, you know, that's going to be a little bit tougher. Um, if you're in a good place, like, in the east where everybody is for burlington finds i mean you could you're killing it with carts like willie will and all them i mean that you're also in a good spot but then yeah it depends where you're located your goals yeah well what what i what i can tell right like there's really no fixed number goal but but here's what i if if you are very familiar with reselling already and you have uh, you have you have quite of uh, experience already this were times where when i was building my business and glenn knows this there were times where i emptied my money my paypal i was literally living from sale to sale <laughs> i would just pay off all my bills as soon as that i would i would i would calculate when i need the bill bills paid again i would literally clear out all my money from my bank or from whatever paypal i had and literally invest it in inventory because it will pay off i'm telling you if you're making the right decisions if you're doing the correct research it will pay off so do that because all our capital uh, availabilities vary but if you really want to win big go all in now because q4 is going to be good and i think also there's like a what were they talking about in the podcast there's like a podcast uh, i was listening to something about how you know, with all this thing that's going on with the virus, there are people that are winning during this time business-wise yeah. uh, because they are making those right choices and um, and not doesn't also have to be in sneakers. I mean, you've seen people that are winning in cards. Cards yeah, are out of control right now. Right, right, right. Um, so you got to do what's what's better for you. What you what you know, you have knowledge in. 
making smart decisions, what you believe you can make your money in. Um, so oh, I did see that. I said Stevie D on oh, Lakers and Clippers voted to end. I did see that. Um, That's because they're not sure they're going to win the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> It's the capital on a problem for me. It's finding inventory from Intramorph. And that's what I was at, too, because I had capital there. And I remember telling B2, I was like, I don't like having this capital just sitting here not moving well, at well, all. That, that's when we started traveling, too, right? Like, that was yeah. the big thing, right? Like, I mean, the bulk happens, the bulk sales kind of was a result when we started traveling. Because that's when our kind of like our mindset just got opened to more bigger opportunities and just to start looking from different places. So, um, you know, the good thing about living in the U.S. is you can drive anywhere. I mean, I just I just put 200,000 miles on my Honda Civic last week, Glenn. So um, it's still rolling. So, uh, you know, I'm driving, uh, the van. Yeah. Plus, you know, I got the van for bigger sourcing now. Um, but 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 you just got to travel further. Um, you know, you just got to source more often. So it's just a matter of time, right? Because if you have a lot of capital, eventually you're going to run out of time, right? You're going to run out of time or you're just going to have to uh, find and buy items that will bring you lesser profit and which is okay. You know, which is okay. A lot of, a lot of the, a lot of businesses run in a really low profit margin, but they just do volume. So Intramort, if you actually have, I mean, if you're struggling with getting more of the inventory, maybe like the Ross fine or the Marshall's fine, maybe look into online buying where you're obviously not capped. So learn that trade, learn sneakers, or hey, learn sports cards. Who knows? <laughs> No, I mean, there's, def there's definitely a lot of different categories you can get into. Um, I don't know if you'll have the knowledge to really, you won't master it that quickly, maybe, but yeah. Yeah. you can still definitely make smart decisions that will get you, mm -hmm. will get you some money in that. Um, do you see a boom in sales in the beginning of the month when people's paycheck comes in? Yeah, I think we know. I, I think I noticed it like the first and the 15th. Um, like I see that, but sometimes it could be like a downfall too, because that's when bills hit. So, uh, right. Like I, I just, I just see, like, I just don't pay attention more on the daily kind of like, see, like I always see a, like a weekly or monthly trend. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jamie Dodge drove, uh, two hours to the next city yesterday, Memphis to Little Rock. Like, nice. yeah, like, like, like I, <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy. Maybe someday we'll talk about the crazy driving. I mean, I drove, I drive to Chicago four hours to source there, yeah. four and a half hours. You know, stay there overnight and just go hard. I mean, especially back in the day, Glenn, when Ross opened at eight and then close at one a.m. Yeah, yeah. You know, so so just gotta find a way. Yeah, and I like I hustled because I don't have to drive. Yeah, yeah, Glenn, Glenn's like chauffeured around, you know. <laughs> uh, rookie reseller, Southwest got some forty-two dollar flight. Yes, flights are all time low right now. I mean, I mean, if you're worried about the virus, wear a PPE, well, full suit, everything, like like Joel Embiid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know some people wearing the full the full suits too when they're in the yeah, flight. Yeah, I mean, like you you, you got you got to make you, you will find, there is always a way. It's just a matter of are you willing to do it. Right, that's yes, it. Sir. Yeah. All right, we are almost there to two hours, so <laughs> we are done. We got a uh, man. That's, I got to get a uh, coffee or something. Re-energize. <laughs> Ready to go. Because because our day just started, right? <laughs> yeah, man. I got so much to do. All right, thanks, guys. Watching Thank the video, you. hanging out, all the tags, and of course, congrats again to Jay Minaj. Uh, for winning and we'll send those uh flint out so see you guys be anything else don't buy dookie <laughs>